Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here, and we're gonna show you a little part of the zoo not many people get to see, the wild part. I know it sounds crazy, but guess what? Right here at the zoo, wild animals are abound, and there's some cool things to look for, and in general, wildlife viewing in the wintertime, it's a great thing to do, and it's easy to view wildlife this time of the year because, well, there's not many leaves to hide the animals, and the snow, you can look for print. So right now, we're in this area called Canyon Creek, and when I'm standing here right now, I see signs of wildlife everywhere, but that's because I know animals. So if you don't, let me show you a few different options. First of all, a lot of people wonder how animals can live in the wintertime in things like water when it's really cold. So take a look. Right now, what are you looking at? Ducks. You see these two ducks swimming? A lot of people say, how do they not freeze? What about their feet? Aren't their feet get cold? Well, ducks have a really cool system of blood flow in their body. And basically what it does is it heats their blood, flows it under their feet, and keeps their feet warm. And it rotates in and out and continues to heat that blood so their feet stay nice and warm. So ducks can swim in this water and not be affected by the cold at all. What a cool system that allows these guys the ability to hang out and get their food. They're going to eat things like little seaweeds and little scallop or little mussels things like that that are in that creek. Now the other thing to look for is on my other side over here, you're going to see there's a tree that has fallen down. And you're going to see that there's actually bark missing off that tree. See what I'm looking at there? And the cool thing is that's a sign that there's a beaver around here. That's right. That means a beaver is getting out there and chewing that bark off because that's what they eat. Now, how do I know it's a beaver? Well, I can see the teeth signs and the signs that something's been chewing it, but also we can look for footprints. And footprints in the snow, tracking, we've talked about tracking before. The snow is one of the best places to look for that. And right below me, I see a whole bunch of different tracks. I see some fox prints. We saw coyote prints. And that's because this is what's called a corridor, which means this is an area that animals are walking through. It's near water. There's food abound. And so this is a perfect place for animals to live. And people say, well, you're in a zoo. What do you mean? An yeah, animals come in here because it's a great safe habitat. Kind of a cool thing to think about. And guess what? You walk over this all the time when you come to the zoo. That's the bridge that you walk over to see our great animals here at Zoo Montana. So next time you come to the zoo, think a little bit differently. Great, enjoy our animals, certainly, but think about all the other animals that are around here that you may not even know about. Maybe turn on those eyes and really take a look down in these creeks the next time you're here. Kind of a cool thing to think about, not many people do. So until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy, sitting here in the wild Zoo Montana. See you real soon.